This episode of Android Weekly is brought to you by Domain.com. I once heard mobile apps described as the suburbs of the internet because Mother Google and Daddy Apple have a stranglehold on what we can see and use. But what if you could enjoy a great user experience on any device, online or offline, and not have to trust a virus-laden, suspicious-looking app store? You know what that is. Now what I'm talking about here is native mobile apps versus HTML5 web apps. And let's start with definitions. A native app, for the purposes of today's show, refers to an application built completely using technologies native to a particular operating system. This could be Android, iOS, Windows, or Blackberry. For Android, native apps are typically built using Java, while for iOS, a native app can be built using Objective-C or more recently, Swift. So the vast majority of apps that you use on your phone are from the Google Play Store, hence they are native mobile apps. An HTML5 app, on the other hand, refers to a mobile app built completely using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript only. HTML5 apps are web apps, and they must be run using the underlying OS browser. Note that HTML5 supports offline data as well as rich media, such as audio and video. A well-written HTML5 app can be used even when the device is offline, or at very least, show an error message. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jace, why should I care? Well, Google and Apple have near complete control over what you and I can do and consume on our own devices. Forget the social and economic implications, and let's just talk about the stranglehold or bottleneck on technical innovation when it comes to mobile apps. That should be a concern for you because Google and Apple decide which app is distributed and which app isn't. That's concerning. Now an HTML5 app free of any app store is more of a meritocracy. But let's talk about some of the practical issues. Pros and cons, here we go. First, let's talk portability. HTML5 apps are portable across different OSs and device types. An HTML5 app written with responsive design methods would also scale appropriately depending on the size of the device it is currently being viewed on. When an update is required, the single app is updated and tested and is available for all devices immediately. Ah, now see, all of you waiting for your more recent Android update should be gushing at that. Now, native apps by definition are unique to each operating system, and so to support multiple OSs, a separate app must be written for each OS. When an update is required, each app must be updated independently and tested independently. Android apps do not modify the layout to match the size of the device automatically, however. During development, different layouts can be specified for different screen sizes and orientations. This usually results in layouts that are more aesthetically pleasing compared to an automatic responsive design on an HTML5 app. Now the winner here is HTML5. Now let's talk cheddar and the costs of development. HTML5 apps are generally cheaper to develop and maintain than native apps, since just the single app is required for multiple OS support. This single app can be developed by a single web developer. However, native apps for all major OSs would typically require a specialized developer for each OS, Java for Android, Objective-C and Swift for OS, c -sharp for Windows, which would significantly be more expensive than a single web developer. Now the winner here is HTML5. Now you speed hogs are wondering, yeah, but what about speed and efficiency? Native apps are almost always more efficient and faster than HTML5 apps. Despite the strides made in increasing the speed of JavaScript interpreters, an HTML5 app cannot execute at the same speed as a native app of similar functionality. Apple's App Store can reject apps for being too slow or not feeling native enough, which is more likely to occur with an HTML5 app than a fully native app. And the winner here is clearly native. Now, what about hardware? Native apps can interact with a wide range of the hardware available on a device, including location, camera, accelerometer, speakers, screen, and more. HTML5 apps do not have the same ability to interact with the hardware, which can be a major deal breaker, depending on the desired functionality of the app. Here, the winner is clearly native. But what if you could fuse the two into a hybrid? That'd be a beast. Hybrid apps are built using a language framework and are then wrapped with native-specific code for each desired mobile OS. 
For example, you build an app using HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript, and then generate a wrapper around the app for Android, iOS, and Windows devices. The final product is, to all intents and purposes, a native app for each platform. However, they share a single code base. Now that sounds pretty cool, right? In most cases, you can take your code base and port it to multiple platforms. Pretty fascinating stuff. However, you still are under the yoke of Google and Apple. Hmm. Now the obvious thing to be said here is that if you are planning to make a graphic intensive game or app of some sort, you absolutely want to go with a native app. HTML5 is just not fast enough to support that kind of intensive gaming. So why talk about this at all? Well, this is going to have a pretty profound effect on how you consume and we produce media. For decades, broadcast media had the infrastructure to make hundreds of billions of dollars off their sh network shows. Now there's no infrastructure. We're figuring it out. How's it going to work in a way that's good for both you, the viewer or reader and us, the publisher. So let's talk about it in the comments below. How best do you think we can make money or how best will new media make money in the future? We'd love to hear your feedback. I'll be reading them in the comments below. So a quick update on my brother and Android, Hindi. You see, Joe didn't actually know that I used our own coupon code, Android, to buy the domain name don'tbecutiethefruit.com because I have faith that when you take a .com and the Android army, poof, magic can happen. Why? Because no domain name extension tells your story with the same level of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. And who doesn't want more credibility? You can save 15% on domain name and web hostings when you use our coupon code ANDROID at domain.com checkout. Don't forget, 15% off when you use our coupon code ANDROID. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Thanks for watching Android Army. My name is Jace. I'd love to connect with you right here on Google Plus or Twitter, and I'll be following you in the comments below. You don't want to forget about my brothers in Android. I'll work hard to be your source for all things Android.